This episode of Prop 3D is brought to you by Autodesk. Hello everybody, welcome to Prop 3D, your guide to 3D printing for prop making and cosplay. I'm Bill Duran and I made a vacuum forming machine. In case you missed it, I did a video on building a small vacuum forming machine and you ought to go check it out because today we're gonna print a visor just like one in Star Wars and we're going to vacuum form it out of a clear material so that you can see through it. We'll be printing the buck. This is the solid piece that the vacuum form plastic goes over and gets suctioned down to. There are lots of different materials you can use to uh, make a vacuum forming buck. Generally anything that won't melt is good. You could use MDF, just carve a piece of wood or something into the shape you need. High density uh, urethane tooling foam is pretty common as well. And you can even pull copies right off of a 3D printed piece. Just like this little fella, we printed a, a little mask thing and then we pulled a copy right off of the bare 3D print. The downside is the texture from the 3D print goes straight into the back of the plastic, making it hard to pull off of the master. Also, you may not want that texture, especially if it's going to be clear. Now, of course, we're gonna show you how to model and 3D print your vacuum forming buck, but you could do it from any other material with any other type of sculpting. We'll just be showing you how to turn that sculpted piece into a good vacuum forming buck. Now, on with the visor. Of course, I modeled mine using 123D Design. There's a link to the full modeling video down below, but here's the quick rundown. First, I scaled the visor so that it was small enough to fit inside of my vacuum forming area uh, with a little bit of space around it so that the frame could fit over it. Then I drew the profile shape of half of the visor and I duplicated that shape and flared it out a bit at the bottom so that the vacuum forming buck would be tapered a little bit to make it easier to pull the plastic off. Then I was able to create a loft between those two shapes, creating the main bulk of our visor body. Then I added a curve to the surface of the visor and I mirrored it so that I had a full visor and then I softened a whole bunch of the edges with some chamfers and some fillets. Then. The thing got printed out right here on our Dremel Idea Builder at, I think at the medium settings and it took a couple of hours to print. Again, we could pull a copy right off of this print, but it would have all those lines in it, making a visor really difficult to see through. So we had to finish it to be nice and smooth. First, I sanded it a whole bunch and then sealed the whole thing using XTC 3D. After a few hours, this was ready to sand. So I smoothed it down a whole bunch and there were a couple of areas that were still a little low. So I went back in with some air drying spot putty to fill those in and then sanded that down. Then it was ready for mold making and I could make a silicone mold like we did in the Nuka-Cola bottle video. Uh, but for this one, I just needed a one-time use mold and I wanted it quickly, so I used alginate. First, of course, I built a box for the mold. I just hot glued a bunch of sheet plastic down around our vacuum forming buck. Then I mixed up my alginate. The alginate goes right in with just some water, mix it up with a power drill, and then poured it over my vacuum forming buck master. Alginate sets up really fast, which is fantastic. So after about 15 minutes, I was able to liberate my piece from the alginate mold. Now for this guy, I wanted to cast it out of something that would be durable and heat resistant. So I went with hydrocal. It's a lot like plaster and it is a very common material for making vacuum forming bucks. So I got a bucket of water and I started putting in handfuls of hydrocal. You don't want to mix it up right away. You want to just sort of let the water take as much of the hydrocal as it wants to. So you keep putting handfuls in until the hydrocal sort of uh, gets caked up on the surface of the water. Then you can mix it using your hand, uh, making sure that you get any lumps, squeeze them, squeeze them out, mix it up a whole bunch until it has the consistency of a milkshake. Then the hydrocal gets dumped into your alginate mold and allowed to sit until it is rock solid. Usually this takes a few hours, but it doesn't hurt to let it sit overnight. Then you can pull the buck from your mold. And if you want to clean it up or sand it a little bit, you could totally do that. And it's ready for vacuum forming. This buck was placed onto the vacuum bed and I dusted it with a little bit of baby powder to make sure that it would release from the plastic nice and easily. Then I cut out my sheets of 0.04 inch P 
PETG plastic and clamped it into the frame. This went into the toaster oven to get all nice and warmed up using the broil setting. I found that the toast setting was actually a little aggressive, so I went with broil. And then once the plastic was nice and droopy and ready to go, I turned on the vacuum, pulled the plastic and the frame out of the toaster oven with some gloves, and then pressed it over the vacuum forming buck, letting the vacuum suction the plastic right over it, forming a perfect copy of our visor. When the plastic was nice and cool, I could trim it away from all that excess plastic. And the buck was designed to have a lot of extra material. So that all got trimmed away using some uh, tin snips and cleaned up using a rotary tool. Then I could finally peel away the protective coating on our visor. This is the fun reveal showing ta -da, that you can see through your visor. At this point, it's ready to go in a helmet if you'd like, or you could tint it. You could even make this uh, a different color. Of course, we'll have a video on that coming in just a few days, so keep an eye open for that. And there you go. There is our Star Wars style visor from a 3D print to a vacuum formed piece. Of course, all of the materials that uh, we use for this project are linked down in the description. Be sure to check out the rest of our prop 3D videos. They showcase a whole bunch of different ways to finish your 3D printed pieces. Now, have you guys been doing any 3D modeling and one 2 3 d design? I've seen a handful of people. I saw a Batarang from my buddy uh, Igor Pinsky, and it looked great. I wanna see what you guys are working on, what you're 3D modeling, what you're 3D printing. Let me know in the comments down below what you're uh, working on, uh, or let me know over on Twitter, at Jimbeard. Thanks for watching the video, you guys, and until next time, happy printing.